The 48th chapter of the Quran, Surah Al-Fatah, meaning, the victory, commemorates a pivotal moment in the early history of Islam, the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, a landmark agreement between the fledgling Muslim community of Medina and the formidable Quraysh tribe of Mecca. This treaty, concluded in the sixth year of the Hijra, 628 CE, marked a dramatic shift in the trajectory of the nascent faith, ushering in a period of relative peace and stability that would profoundly shape the course of Islamic history. In the aftermath of their migration from Mecca to Medina, the Muslims found themselves in a precarious position. The Quraysh, vehemently opposed to the spread of Islam, waged relentless hostilities against the Muslim community. This persecution, including economic blockades and physical attacks, tested the resilience and unwavering faith of the early Muslims. Despite the daunting challenges, the Muslim community in Medina continued to thrive, establishing a strong social fabric and solidifying their political structure. Under the leadership of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they embarked on a path of spiritual and intellectual growth, deepening their commitment to the teachings of Islam. In the year 628 CE, Prophet Muhammad, seeking to reaffirm the sanctity of Mecca and perform the sacred rituals of Umrah, led a group of Muslims on a pilgrimage to the holy city. However, their arrival was met with unwavering resistance from the Quraysh, who refused to allow them entry, fearing the growing influence of Islam. Undeterred by this setback, Prophet Muhammad demonstrated his unwavering commitment to peaceful resolution, he sent emissaries to the Quraysh leaders, seeking a diplomatic solution that could bridge the divide and allow the Muslims to perform their pilgrimage. After months of negotiations, marked by patience and unwavering resolve, both parties finally agreed to a treaty, known as the Treaty of Hudaybiyah. This landmark agreement not only brought an end to the hostilities but also paved the way for a period of remarkable growth and expansion for the nascent Muslim community. The Treaty of Hudaybiyah, meticulously crafted and meticulously upheld, laid the foundation for a temporary truce between the Muslims and the Quraysh. It outlined several key provisions that aimed to foster a spirit of mutual respect and understanding. The Muslims were granted the right to perform Umrah the following year, albeit under certain restrictions. This symbolic gesture, though seemingly limited, served as a testament to the Muslims' commitment to peaceful coexistence and their unwavering faith in the ultimate triumph of their beliefs. A ten-year truce was established, effectively suspending hostilities between the two parties. This breathing space allowed for the Muslims to consolidate their position in Medina, expand their influence, and prepare for the future. Any disputes arising during the truce would be resolved through mutual consultation and arbitration. This provision ensured that disagreements would be addressed through peaceful means, minimizing the potential for conflict and ensuring the continued stability of the region. The Treaty of Hudaybiyah, in its profound impact and enduring legacy, stands as a testament to the virtues of diplomacy, resilience, and the pursuit of peace. It demonstrated the power of peaceful negotiations in resolving conflicts and fostering understanding, a lesson that continues to resonate across the ages. The treaty's significance extended beyond the immediate cessation of hostilities. It served as a validation of Islam's growing influence and recognition among the tribes of Arabia, signaling the increasing acceptance of the faith. This newfound legitimacy paved the way for a period of expansion and consolidation for the Muslim community, laying the groundwork for the future conquests that would spread Islam throughout the Arabian Peninsula and beyond. The story of Al-Fatah and the Treaty of Hudaybiyah offers valuable lessons that transcend religious boundaries, providing insights into the pursuit of peace, the power of resilience, and the importance of diplomacy in resolving conflicts. It serves as a reminder that true victory lies not in domination but in establishing justice and fostering understanding among diverse communities.